hi everyone in this video we would like to discuss the primary and the backup protection so what is the difference between them the primary protection or the main protection is the essential protection provided for protecting an equivalent or a machine so the primary protection is the main protection the first one to act in our protection system as a precautionary measure or as a precaution the protection or another protection or additional protection is generally uh, generally provided and is called the backup protection this one is an extra type of protection if the primary protection does not uh, work so we have two types of protection the primary protection and the backup protection the primary protection is the essential one and the main one and the first to act and the secondary one or the backup is the second in the defense uh, principle so the primary protection is the first to act and the backup protection is the next in the fine of the defense or the line of the defense not fine if the primary protection fails the backup protection carries into action and removes the faulty part from the healthy system so what are the methods of the backup protection number one the relay backup number two breaker backup the remote backup backup protection by time grading principle and the backup protection by the duplication principle so the first one is the relay backup so what does a relay backup means it means that we are adding an extra relay to our system so that's why it's called a relay backup a backup for the relay so in this type we have the same breaker the same circuit breaker which uh, trips the circuit but we will use a different coils or multiple coils one which is the primary coil or the uh, main protection coil and secondary coil or a secondary relay so same breaker is used by both of the main and the backup protection but the protective systems are different so what does a protective system mean it means that it can be an overcurrent over voltage differential protection distance protection and etc all of this will be discussed in more lectures about the uh, protection systems separate trip coils uh, each one representing a relay may pro be provided for the same circuit breaker so similar to the trip circuit which we discussed in the previous lecture but we will have another or a multiple number of trip coils each coil is related to a relay so here if one of the relays did not work then another one will start acting and providing signal to the circuit breaker uh, the second type which is the breaker backup so we have uh, in the previous one relay backup so we are big backing up or uh, making a backup for the relay but the breaker backup it means that we are adding an additional circuit breaker so different breakers are provided for the main and the backup protection both the breakers being in the same station or in the same place so we have two breakers one which is the main protection breaker and second one is the backup breaker so if the main breaker did not work the backup one will trip the circuit the remote backup the main and the backup protections are provided at a different places or a different stations and are completely independent from each other so the main one and the primary or the primary and the backup protection is are not related to each other they are independent from each other and of course they are in a different places the uh, fourth type is the backup protection by time grading so what does this mean we have here a simple power system we have the generator 
and the circuit breaker which protects it connected to a bus bar going through a transmission line having a breaker at the beginning and the breaker at the end then a bus bar with a two lines one here considered as a load for example with its own circuit breaker and circuit breaker here at the beginning and end of transmission lines then the uh, bus bar connected to it a group of transmission line going to different loads so here what happens the backup protection by time grading for example if we have a fault for example occurring at here at this one okay so by logic since it is in this region so this one is having this zone of protection so in this case this breaker and this breaker should trip because the fault here is in their zone of protection okay okay so what will happen if this breaker or this breaker did not work so in this case the next level is this uh, two breakers will start to trip and uh, trip all of this part all of this region then what will happen if this is this, if this breaker did not work then the level uh, after it is this two breakers will trip and isolate all of this region so we'll find here what happened here the uh, problem here is that we divided our breakers or divided our um, protection into regions so here since we are close to the load then the time taken by the circuit breaker to trip is 0.1 second but if this region or any of this breaker did not work for each equivalent fault then the next level is these two breakers will start operating as a backup for this level and it will operate after 0.6 second then if these breakers did not work then the next level will these two breakers which is one second so we'll find here that if the breaker here did not work then the next level these breakers will work after 0.6 second to isolate the fault because of course the short circuit current occurring here moving from the generator going through the transmission lines to the fault so all of these breakers feel the feels the um, amount of short circuit current so all of them should operate but in order to provide the uh, discrimination or providing the minimum disruption of the power system so that the one which is close to the load should have the minimum time then if this one did not work then we will go to a higher level to isolate all of this region and if this this one did not work then we will choose this two breakers to isolate all of this so we'll find that the coordination time what does the coordination time mean it means that the time between the circuit breakers in this level and circuit breakers in the other level you will find this one point one second and this one point six this one one second so the difference between them is from point three to point seven seconds so what is the disadvantage of this method number one larger isolated area so if the circuit breaker did not work then we will start operating these two circuit breakers so what will happen in this case in this case you will find that all of this region is isolated all of them are tripped but the fault was occurring in this transmission line so this means higher isolation or higher isolated area in case of this breaker did not work and if this these two breakers did not work then another one which is here will isolate all of this area which means all of this area are disconnected from our power system but in case of the other methods which is for example the relay backup or circuit breaker backup if this one this did not work 
then another one exists here as a backup for it so the isolated area will be just this one which contains the fault but the backup protection by time grading caused large isolation of the uh, power system here also we'll find that the time break of breaking increases near the generator as we go closer to the generator you will find that the current is increasing and the time is increasing also the short circuit current is higher so what does this mean i will explain it now you will see that when the current moves here go through this till the fault here here we have a fault so the current equal to v of the supply of the generator over the z from where from the generator going through all of this to here but if the fault occurred here near to the generator then it will be also v over z but this z only z1 but from here to here is z2 so we'll find that z2 here which is the fault current till here the current here is lower because z2 is higher therefore i2 will be lower or the short circuit current in case of here will be lower but z1 here is low value therefore the current would be high value i1 would be very high at this point the short circuit occurring here so what does mean it means that the time here one second despite having large short circuit current but in this case here this one is a lower short circuit current and tripping at a lower time so what is the problem here one second could be a higher uh, value of time which will cause the short circuit current to be passing for large time which will affect our bus bars and our cables and our component so this one is very bad for our electrical components the last type is called the backup by duplication so what does this mean backup by duplication means that we are duplicating our power uh, electrical protective component so important protective devices such as the relays circuit breakers auxiliaries current transformer a voltage transformer or potential transformer are all duplicated it means that we are duplicating them both primary and the backup protection are provided at the same station and are arranged to operate at the same speed as fast as possible so here the primary and the backup are operating the of course the relays circuit breakers are operating at the same time in order to clear the fault as soon as possible such a protection is costly and the cost is justified for the protection of extra high volt transmission lines bus bars the large generators and the large transformers so you know that here we are duplicating the relays we are getting for example two relays two circuit breakers two current transformers two potential transformers so this one is representing large cost for our protection system so this type is used in protection in very uh, in very important uh, components such as transmission lines extra high voltage transmission lines large generators bus bars and large transformers the merits of the duplication uh, backup principle or the um, advantages of this uh, type is number one it is fast and almost simultaneous fault clearing and of course improve the stability for our power system number two complete reliability can be assured because we have duplicated all of our uh, protection components so the uh, reliability will be increased but of course the disadvantage is of course the large cost of this system now we have here an example for our 
a simple system here for example we have a generator with a circuit breaker generator 2 with circuit breaker and connected to pass bar isolated between them using a pass coupler pass coupler in order to uh, open and to close the connection between them to isolate between these two pass bar or connect between these two pass bars we have here a transformer another transformer and its protection zone and protection circuit breakers and etc so for example we have a fault on this transmission line you will see that here we need to find the primary protection and the backup protection according to the protection zone so we'll find that here for example a fault occurred at number a here so this fault is in what zone in the zone of circuit this circuit breaker number one and circuit breaker number two so circuit breaker number one and two are the primary protection primary protection is circuit breaker number one and two now what will happen if circuit breaker number one did not work then you will find that circuit breaker number one or the overlapping here between this zone and this zone the intersection between them is this circuit breaker so the if this one did not work then the circuit breakers in the same zone are going to operate which is this circuit breaker and this one why because this zone intersects with this zone at this circuit breaker so if this one did not work then this one and this one will operate circuit breaker number six and circuit breaker number five also here if if circuit breaker number two did not work then let's see what overlaps with this with the primary zone here this protection zone and this protection zone not this one only so the common here between this zone and this one is the circuit breaker number four is the one which will operate and you'll see that this zone contains this breaker and this breaker number three so what will happen if this one did not operate then three and four will operate so we'll find that the backup protection here is for circuit breaker number one is five and six five and six and for circuit breaker number two number four and number three number four and number three now what will happen if we have a fault at b for example so at b you will see that here in b it is in the zone of circuit breaker number four this zone which contains circuit breaker number four number two and number three so two three and four are the one which will protect if ha if a fault occurred at b here now what will happen if circuit breaker number four or two or three did not work so for four the intersection with another zone here which contains this circuit breaker and this one which is 9 and 8 and circuit breaker number 2 and 3 are intersecting 3 with this circuit breaker which is number 7 and 2 intersecting with number 1 so 1, 7, 8, 9 are the backup protection in case of the circuit breakers 2, 3 and 4 did not work or any of them did not work so in this video we discussed the uh, primary protection and the different types of the backup protection thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and learn it from it now i would like to invite you to my academy khadiga academy you will find the link for the academy in the description for this video you can find there useful uh, courses, free and paid courses, which will help you as an electrical engineer. So check it out if you would like to learn more about it. Thank you.